Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 22, and this is war number 10, and we're going up against an alliance called the Bad Players. Alright, so I've scouted out my path, and I've selected my attackers. And what's more, we've been doing this a little bit more, is we've had a discussion ahead of time where one of the officers has laid out a battle plan. Okay, you know, who's going to take what mini and with what champion. Okay, so we have the plan and we're going in. Now, this first fight is going to be against Quake. Now, Quake is fairly simple to fight, but if you're not careful, and I know people have some problems with her, uh, you don't want to let her fire off her heavy attacks or charge a heavy up because even with one stack, you can get um, stunned when it expires. So you'll notice I'm just basically going in, I'm doing intercepts, and we're just bleeding her down. Okay, now we just want to bait out that special. There we go. And pretty much it's game over for Quake. All right. Pretty straightforward and simple fight. Uh, if you, you know, are aggressive, and of course, Nick Fury is a beast. Uh, they've chosen Stubborn as their defense tactic, which a lot of uh, teams do. Now, notice I didn't have anyone uh, to fight on that second node there. All good. Sometimes uh, they don't want to place a defender there. Um, it's not very difficult to uh, deal with. Uh, so my alliance mate went ahead and took Tigra. He was assigned to that one. They cleared out this middle section, and we're on to uh, section two. Now, I was assigned to take out this human torch, and I'm going to be using Nick Fury. So you got EMP modification, you know, enhanced energy attacks, burden of might, for rolling thunder. Uh, nothing too terrible, and I always look there because I never remember which uh, champions are defensive and which aren't you know which have the tag which don't so i always just check there just to make sure i didn't think he was but you never know all right so straightforward just like the quake fight we're just going to go in and try to bleed him down we're going to be very aggressive um now one thing that i am going to do as you see here i blocked most of it and then i evaded that last one okay um i might even block all of them as long as he isn't at max temperature, you see right there, I was a little bit more confident. Uh, as long as he's not at max temperature, you can block and not take a whole lot of damage. Okay, but a lot of people just like to block those safer and you don't have to worry about uh, getting a whole bunch of incinerates on you. All right, but as you see, we didn't have too much problems. Nick Fury is a great counter uh, for Human Torch right there. Okay, so now... We're on to section two. And look at who we have here. We've got Colossus, and he is actually a pretty common defender for this node. Um, it's not a bad placement. And you can see he's defensive, which means we're gonna have to deal with the indestructible uh, when we evade and all of that. And so what I'm going to do and you'll notice I don't have Corvus. If you watched my uh, last war video, I think it was the last one, uh, we fought Colossus with Corvus, not knowing that it was a Corvus trap. We did get him down, but Corvus is not the best counter for this. Now, Black Widow Clairvoyant, however, as you see, is a very good counter for this particular uh, node here. Now, what you saw me do here, I just rotated all the way through. All right, now I got a bleed on me because I'm in my uh, damage mode. So I did one special two in damage mode. And now I'm going to try to cycle because uh, I'm, I'm still in good health. So I don't really need to switch over to bleed. Uh, and I'm watching to make sure that I don't get too low. All right, I switched over to bleed. And now we got our health back. I love Black Widow Clairvoyant. She is a beast. And when it comes to fighting on this node, she rocks that Colossus. No pun intended. All right, so you can see here we're not having too much trouble 
uh, I went like this, and I'm like, oh my goodness, now what? Oh no, I'm about to get wrecked. We got lucky, guys. I was sitting there sweating bullets. The fight was going beautiful. And then I decided to do that special two. Didn't know I was going to push him to a special three. But we got so lucky that he didn't fire off that special three. All right. So now comes a fight. And you see I'm sitting here because I'm like, whew. I'm just resting for a little bit here. Um, once I had energy back, I uh, went up against this MODOK. Now, this MODOK was giving me a little bit of, of concern. That explosive personality was what I was worried about. Then you have heavy handed, which means if you mess up with that special, it's going to hurt even more. All right. So I thought about this. I thought about what I should do. Now, you see, he's also defensive. OK, so I'm like, OK, one thing that I noticed is that he was not stun immune and there's no limber. So that gave me a good strategy to you know use against him as long as he is not stun immune and we're not dealing with any limber then the indestructible is not really a big deal because as soon as i parry it's going to go away anyway so i don't necessarily need nick fury so i chose to go in with warlock now nick fury could have done this as well okay um but i went in with a uh, warlock and this is my plan. What you see here is the plan. Okay. Parry. Heavy. Put that bleed on him. Parry. Heavy. Put a bleed on him. Evade the special one. He's got the indestructible. Parry again. No indestructible. Bleed. And that's pretty much how I need to take this MODOK on this particular node. Um, not too difficult when you stick to this plan and you know how to counter him as long as he's not stun immune now a stun immune modok is a little bit more annoying okay there you go boom and he's gone didn't even have to fire the special three off i would have but i saw that he was about to go bye bye okay so my next assigned target is man thing and you remember that i fought man thing before and uh, for whatever reason, it, it read my swipe as a light switched me out. It really messed me up, and I didn't get the one shot on that fight. So I was eager to get some payback. Now, this Korg was assigned to someone else. However, I was asked to take this Korg. Now, I wasn't planning to take Korg, all right? But I said, okay. Uh, they told me Black Widow Clairvoyant should be able to, to do this fight, no problem. Okay, fair enough. I've fought Korg with Black Widow, and she is a good counter for Korg. But as you'll see, it's the node, not Korg, that is the problem. All right, now, I want you to watch. I'm taking this fight seriously, because I'm not sure how this is going to go all right um but i am somewhat familiar with those nodes but we're trying to boost up what we can do okay i'm boosting up got a power boost on got some uh special attack boost on and then we use one of our 20 percenters not the 30 percent but one of the 20 percenters okay so we're, we're pretty hefty at this point. And I'm like, okay, you know, she does energy-based attacks. You know, I don't have to worry about trying to uh, do light intercepting, which I don't do well. Uh, I can just fight her like I would normally fight her, uh, fight Korg like I normally would fight him in Alliance Quest, you know, like with Havoc. So you see here, we're going, but look at the counters. Okay, those counters, when they go down to zero, see that suppression? It's suppressing my power gain. I was trying to get to a special two. And look at this. I'm not at a special two yet. And now, I can't get to a special two. Look at this. My, look at my power. So I fired off a special, reset them. Okay, 
And now I'm like, okay, let me try to get to a special again. But look at my power. I'm not quite sure. I've got all of these suppressions on me. And I, I thought, as long as I fire off my special, the counters were reset, I should be good. But I already had all those suppressions. And now, I can't get any power. This is no longer a, a fight that I believe I can win. Remember, we're also dealing with Buffet. So he's going to be healing. So what you saw right there was me force quitting to save my Black Widow. Now, I didn't get Korg down here. One of my alliance mates did. You may notice, and go back if you didn't see it, there are now four people on this side. After I did that fight and someone else came in and they got him down that far, but they didn't finish him off and apparently they didn't want to revive and, and, and do it again. I got called out. I got asked why I was sitting there with all my items and not helping get this Korg down. Now, you guys saw this. Now, of course, they didn't see what I did, but they should have known. They should have checked before doing that. Not only that, but two of the people that were on that side had not used any items either, but yet I was the one mentioned. So I'm now upset. I'm really upset, right? I don't believe I can get this fight down. I've seen it. I don't believe I have the counters. This was not my fight. And I was set or, or assigned a fight on Boss Island. So that's what I was prepared to do. The first fight, I went in, asked to do it, and didn't think it was a good idea. So now here, I'm thinking, let me try something a little bit different, you know? And so you'll see here, I'm not doing full five hit combos. I'm trying to see if I can only get one of the counters down and still build up to a special uh, two. But as you can see, the power, even with one counter down, I'm still not able to quite get to a special two. Okay, and now look, boom. Got all of these uh, suppressions on me. And so I'm back in the same situation that I was in before. But I don't want to seem like I'm not a team player. I don't want to seem like, you know, oh, I'm just sitting there and not trying. And with all these items, because apparently having my items unused is a bad thing okay it, it seems to be what folks are looking at so i'm like okay let's go all right now i want you to notice korg's health when we started and what you're gonna see is what happened when i just basically was like whatever okay um let's just go ahead i don't care look at his health and I knew this, okay? Now, uh, those of you who were uh, with me on my live stream when this war had taken place, uh, I know a couple of you asked, you know, what was wrong? You could tell that, you know, I was out of sorts. That's why. That's why I was a little out of sorts on my live stream. Uh, because, of course, I'm, I'm delaying the live stream, trying to get this stuff down, trying to be a team player, help as much as I can, but yet I'm getting called out and what it seems like targeted even. And so I'm just like, okay, now I know. Now, now on Boss Island, had I not done all of this, had I not been asked to just throw myself against this cord, which others had issues with as well i could have taken at least two minis on boss island okay man thing could have gone down there was a domino warlock i could have taken out domino with my warlock and there were a couple of others but after this now the other issue is that unlike folks that spend a lot of money on this game i don't I am free to play, cheap to play, whatever you want to call it. I don't buy these offers. I don't buy units. Therefore, when my items 
go down, I don't have a whole lot of ways to get more except for the units that I grind in the arena. But those units are all I have. And we just had Cyber Weekend. So I spent a ton of units that I had been saving up for just that reason. So if I'm spending units on items for Alliance War, then I won't be able to spend these units to further my account progression. Okay? So, but a lot of people don't understand that, of course. And I used up a bunch of items. Now, you saw me use up the, the few um, health potions that I had. And I can't get more. My glory was already gone. So the only way to get more health potions would have been to spend units. Now, every war, because I run suicides, every war, I switch out of suicides to place. That cost me roughly 81 units every war. So I do that. No problem at all. Um, but I don't want to spend a ton of units so that Alliance War is draining me. Now, previously, this has not been an issue. As long as, you know, we're allowed to take the fights that we, you know, see we have a good counter for. And a good counter may mean just a champion, but it also may mean a good matchup as far as the summoner. You know, they may have a good counter for a particular um, fight, but they just don't do that fight very well. Like Mixed Master, when I first went up against a Mixed Master, it was horrible, but I got a little bit used to it. So it didn't matter that I had Omega Red, who was a great counter for that Korg on Mixed Master, and I did take down Korg on Mixed Master later. That was just a skill issue. So. Uh, this core here, and look at his health. Just look at his health. After all of this, look at his health. Okay? Now, this Nick Fury, he could have taken down uh, a couple of uh, of the uh, minis on Boss Island as well. But I wasted him here. Okay? So, that is really how this war, for me, went. It wasn't really pleasant, and I went to the live stream after this fight, okay? Um, fighting a champion. Now, when I asked, I told everyone what happened, right? What I got back was Black Widow should be able to take that Korg easily, all right? Now, I've taken Korg with Black Widow, and yes, she's great. But if you notice, it wasn't Korg that beat me. It was the node locking me down. One of the other guys went in. He also got locked down uh, and wasn't able to do anything. Okay? You have to have a, a proper counter. So what I did when he said this, you know, and I'm just like, you know, already irritated. Okay? I, I didn't lash back out. I just said, okay, well, show me a video where Black Widow is taking down this cork on this node so that I can learn. Because I've learned from videos before. And if Black Widow can take this cork on this node, show me how, so that I can learn and then I can do it next time. I'm not above learning. I'm, I've never claimed to be the best fighter anywhere, okay? But this fight really ticked me off, but it wasn't the fight itself, it was the attitude that I was getting from my alliance, uh, some of my alliance mates, okay? Um, I, like I said, I, I, was, I was pretty, pretty uh, tilted. And just look at this. Look at, look at what I'm doing, okay? I'm still using up these items. Now, my alliance is supposed to be, and there's, there's the last health potion. My alliance is supposed to be AQ focused. That is what they have been for the past few seasons. This type of war where um, we're going a little bit more hard. And just look at that. I, I was done. Okay. That was just a waste of, of my items. I was just done at this point. 
Okay. Um, I put the game down and I told them, and that's when I was hearing what I told you about Black Widow. And I've never gotten a, a video of Black Widow taking this Korg on this node. Because, yeah, in general, Black Widow is a great counter for Korg. I've taken Korg uh, in questing and some other nodes. But on this node, I don't know how to do it. Not saying that she can't do it. I don't know how to do it. So show me. Don't just tell me. Show me how to do it. Okay? But in any case, let's get back and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we lost this war. Uh, definitely not one of my better wars. I'll say that. Um, it actually bummed me out. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. If you happen to have any tips on how I could fight that particular Korg on that node with the champions that I had, feel free to leave me a comment. Like I said, I'm always willing to learn. Uh, but take care, and you all have a blessed day.